Well, I think, um, what am I doing today? I know what I'm attempting to do. Basically today I'm gonna kinda just mess around and draw. Nothing uh, enormously complicated. I like that, how that feels, how it just lays down like that. That's a really good. Feeling the edges for no really artistic reason, but I just like the feel of the edges. Get all wiped out. In the last painting I pressed too hard and I ripped out the canvas. This one is kind of I was going to do the whole thing black, but going with my concept of no idea what I'm doing next, I'm going to go for red. And that's the quest for, do I have any red paint in here? That's empty. Ah, found red paint. Uh, but unfortunately, it's slightly open. So you can see with my hands all embedded in ickiness. I like opening things and scratching your face without becoming a total imbecile. Much more trickier. And I'm trying to not to pollute this whole red paint, but I kind of did. Ah. I don't really want red here. Anyway, I want something else. It's pretty cool looking. That's not what I want. Actually, has a good feel just how it is. Probably could, should stop it right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stop right now before you screw it up. Oh, man. Uh, too late. I'm going to mess it up. Uh, what am I going to mess up on this painting? The, uh, with these uh, acrylics that are, um, I don't know what you call them, safe, they're 
their uh, acrylics that are non-toxic. Yeah, that's the word. They don't mix right. So, because uh, the black, it looks black, but I think in many cases it's a weird blue. So you'll mix things and you'll think you're gonna get a darker color, but it actually lightens up or switches um, into some color which isn't following that your normal color theory. But that's way better than putting your hand in turpentine. You know what I mean, which I really hate. I hate that turpentine feel on your hand. Now that's what you used to do. At least if you cut paint on you. But now with non-toxic, it's kind of remove that. That painting looks completely hideous. hideous. There's nothing happening into it. The space is completely screwed up. Um, let's get icky. Ah, I just got paint on my other hand now. So now we're in full ambidextrous mode. So might as well give it up. Let's see what's happening with the other side of my brain. Actually, kind of digging that. I don't like how the top is structured, though. And I'm thinking for this one. I'm probably way ahead of myself. I'm already thinking the framing, and I don't know the way the frame would work. Would be icky. And I just completely screwed up the painting in case someone was wondering. I'm doing that just wrecked it. But, top break. Looky. I hate it when the paint's cold. It's kind of cold in here. I'm sure you're hearing all sorts of storm noises. It's ickiness. That's not the best way of doing it. But, it's my way. Gotta get this excess paint off. The yellow should green. See what I did basically by scraping. I did all the layers before it, layers that worked. Basically, I, I sprayed off the layers that didn't work. And uh, basically, what I did. 